second one is going to the positive terminal like this this is the smallest homemade radio with OLED screen let's power up Take a look at that LED blinker that works with only one AAA 1.5 volt battery. How you can charge your phone battery using paper clip? Let's find out. This is that battery. I'm gonna measure with digital multimeter look zero volts and let's bring a life to this battery you will need a external power supply that will give four volts or you can use it uh, another full charged battery for example this is 18650 battery that give 3.7 volts and when it's charged 4.2 volts to give a shock to the battery but holding the wires like this and placing the positive like this it's not a great idea so we're gonna use it a metal paper clip what you're gonna need to do with the paper clip you need to make two of these this paper clip need to be banded like this you need two of them after making these attachments it goes like this the first one go to the negative terminal okay and the second one is going to the positive terminal like this next thing is to connect the negative wire from the donor battery to the negative terminal and this one to the positive hold it for 5 seconds then release hold it for 5 seconds then release my multimeter is set on amps and my probe is on the amps the positive wire from the battery from donor battery go to the positive probe of the digital multimeter and here we're gonna see how much current is pulling when you touch look 500 milliampers release 400 release and this way we are giving energy from this battery to that battery but it's much better and safe when you use a power supply with adjusted current i set my current on one amp and the volts are set on 4.2 volts now i'm gonna hook up the alligator clips on the negative and on the positive terminal of the battery look it pulls one amp of current and right now I'm charging the battery using those paper clip attachments for the battery and I can reduce the amps because with lower amps the battery have better charging all right after 15 minutes of charging let's check the battery removing the clips okay we have 3.4 volts great just to remind when the metal paper clips are attached to the battery Please be careful, these two cannot be in short because there will be maybe fire. Gently remove it 
and now you have a charged battery using caper clips and external power supply or donor battery. That was a quick and easy life hack to charge a removal, removable battery from phone. We have a five models. This is the main board model, radio receiver model, OLED screen model, 80Tiny85 microchip model and speaker with amplifier model. In couple of seconds I, I can assemble my homemade FM radio. Watch! The screen, the radio receiver model, here it is the microchip with 80Tiny85, here it is the speaker with the amplifier and I'm ready. So to explain some stuff. This is the main board. On the bottom you can see that I have eight rows. Each row is for example let's say ground positive digital pin number one up to digital pin four reset button and that. This orange wire is an antenna for the radio model and this is the main board where is attached all models and it's powered by 3 volts. Why I'm using 3 volts? Because the radio model, this is the radio model that is this green, small green board is the radio mo model with chip RDA5807 and it's fixed on the pin header also I made a model out of OLED display with 64 by 32 pixels also fix it on the pin header this is the microchip 80Tiny85 with solid copper wires soldered from the chip to the pin header and behind I have two push buttons that are fixed on the header this is for choosing the frequency forward and backward and this is the last model I have made it's a speaker with amplifier model and that's it in description below I will attach a link to a website where you can download the code and schematic for 80Tiny85 or 80Tiny84 microchip. You can see on the circle diagram how is connected everything, the microchip with the OLED screen and with the radio model. Why I have decided to make uh, models? Because I need these models to be used in my next project and it's simple way to attach and make a new project. This is the OLED model goes at front behind it I have the radio model attach it this is the microchip model goes here and this is the speaker with the amplifier goes like this it's so tiny and it's the smallest FM stereo radio receiver with OLED screen and antenna. Because I am in my studio and my studio is underground, to receive station is very hard. Let's try it now.
because of the copyright songs I will scan for stations for short time. Working great and just look the size. Hello Hectors and welcome back to my channel and I have a new video for you. Let's start. Today's presentation is a Arduino based and I'm using this board which is called Arduino Uno board universal breadboard jumper wires and a bunch of all colors LEDs which color I will use we're gonna see it if you want to make a prototype project you will need this kind of proto board universal breadboard with very little holes on that holes you can plug in your electronic components or in my case I'm using a jumper wires and LEDs and Arduino board to make a simple LED chaser with 10 LEDs and some cool effects. Which color to choose? Red, green, I'm gonna go with blue. I need 10 blue LEDs. Four. Ten blue LEDs. These are working on three volts, and they are five millimeters. Ten LEDs. Something to be clear: each LED have two legs. One of them is a positive. The another another one is a negative. And also on this breadboard, we have a negative and positive rail. Everything is connected with the jumper wires, jumper wires and I'm using 12 instead 10 LEDs and to correct myself it needs all negative legs of the LEDs to be connected together through resistor to go on the ground on the Arduino Uno board. So all negative legs of the LEDs are connected together and all positive legs of the LEDs through jumper wires are going to the each digital pin from number 2 to number 13. You can, hit, you can see the schematic on the screen. You need to connect the wires and LEDs like that. Ok, now it's time for testing. But before that you need to upload the code the code you can download in description below upload it to the Arduino Uno board and the LEDs will start chasing ok let's power up take a look at that some cool LED chasing effects the LEDs are chasing in different patterns. Take a look, I need to kill the lights.
this is the LED blinker that works with only one AAA 1.5 volt battery and will blink for around one year. You can see that it's made on the universal breadboard with electronic components. Here it is the yellow LED. I pull out a battery holder from all device for AAA battery size. And it's very small. And it's blinking with very fast frequency. And that way is saving the energy. That's why it will blink for around one year with only one battery 1.5 volts. Okay, if you want to make this awesome LED blinker, long time LED blinker, here it is the schematic. You can take a screenshot on your phone. It has 10 electronic components. One N-pen transistor, any N-pen transistor. In, in my case, I'm using 2N3904 and PNP transistor 2N3906. We have two kilo ohm resistor, 100 kilo ohm resistor, 10 nanofarads capacitor, 10 microfarads electrolytic capacitor. Here we have 47 ohms resistor, the LED, and this is the crucial electronic part. It's, it's 1000 microfarads at, at 6.3 volts. Okay, that's it. 10 electronic components that you need to solder, like on the schematic. Here it is on my tiny breadboard. And this is a 1.5 LED flasher, long time LED flasher. Here it is another one with double A battery. You can see that it's blinking. I have used the same electronic components and added a switch and it's made on the PCB board. Okay. I hope you like today short video about long time LED flasher.